Yeah, I mean, um, for me this time, there's no pressure, like at all, right? So, um, you know, we've had a tough season. We, we've, we've won some races and we've been, been fast and been competitive on the dirt and just had a couple of miscues that have, have put us in this situation, right? So, um, we're far enough back that the ball's in his court. Um, if, if he finishes in the top three or four, I think even, then there's nothing I can do. So, um, for me, it's, uh, it's no pressure, right? I just want to win a race. And so, um, we're just going to give it our best shot to go out there and do what we can do. And, uh, hey, if we, if we win a race and it all works out, you know, then that'd be great. And if, uh, if it doesn't, you know, we're just giving it our best shot anyway. Yeah, I mean, some of it's just trying to make sure everything's good to go. And you know, we haven't mailed, we haven't ran these pavement cars in two months. And the last race we had, we had brake trouble, right? So, um, something that plagued us there at Gateway that um, we're trying to make sure is resolved all the way. And, um, you know, this, this, you know, a lot of times we run here at Indianapolis Raceway Park a few times during the year, but, but it's been since May since we've been here. So, um, you know, with the championship on the line, right, this race just means a little extra anyway, and trying to make sure uh, we all do our homework and put our best uh, best foot forward. This was only 100, you know, we were, we were leading at 100 last time, and um, it just didn't work out by the end. So, um, it's, it's been a little while since I've won a points paying race here at, uh, here at IRP, and so it would, uh, it'd be good just to win one, right? Every Silver Crown race means a lot, and and it's been, uh, been, like I said, been a year we've, we've missed a couple, and, and it'd be great to, uh, to finish it strong. Yeah, it's been, um, it's been a pleasure to race uh, for Doran Racing, which what's now been Doran Binks Racing this year, and to, to fly the mission colors and support from Glen Farms, right? We've got great people that, that all pitch in to make this possible, and um, you know, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of people that, that have their hands in on it that, that make, it, make it what it is. And um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm probably a little more involved than, than typical, and um, you know, we're here at Raceway Park today, and I was at the shop in Cincinnati till 10:30 last night, trying to help the boys finish it up and, and get it loaded and, and get it. Um, where hopefully we can come out and, and be as ready as we can be today. Um, so, so there's there's little parts of it that, that I'm involved with that um, that make it make it challenging. Probably, you know, in some ways it's 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 um, can stress you out because you're involved in so many different layers. But um, I'm I'm doing my best to. Uh, to enjoy each each opportunity, each race, and and not to not to get so caught up in it, right? We're just trying to win a race, uh, you know, this weekend, and and however it works out, it does. And um, but but I'm thankful, like I said, there's uh, you know many hands that are that are in on it and and, and a part of it, and I'm just uh, thankful for for everyone that, that does uh, pitch in on it. And I I repeat, a lot of people talk about it as you know it's tricky for a lot of people. Obviously, you've had your share of success when in here. Seven times the Silver Crown, the whole Swanson family here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Your brother has won seven times as well. So uh, outside of the bragging rights to get one up on him. Yeah. Just, uh, just yeah. Tell, it's, yeah. It's, tell me about that part, just trying to be your brother. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun. I mean, it, you know, I think um, we've been really fortunate to, to sweep Silver Crown races. Um, and I think he's still got the upper hand on me in that, you know, sweeping one, two. And, and for a number of years, he just um, he just beat us here, you know, and, and was really, really good. And him and the Bowman team hit on something right away and were strong for, for all that time. And it was uh, some catching up I had to do. And, and was fortunate to, to do that with Hampshire and De Palmas and the Black 63 and then kind of carry that through the Nolan Racing Team and then been trying to catch up here with, with Doran Binks Racing and what's what's now the number 77 again, right? So um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's fun, you know, it's, um, there, there are bragging rights there at the same time, like you said, but um, he raises the bar, and he has in the Silver Crown Series, and and so is you know guys like Bobby Santos winning the Hoosier Hundred this year, and uh, Justin Grant, former champ, and Logan Seavey obviously there, and, and a part of it, and being really strong on the pavement too, right? Uh, among all the other you know pavement competitors, we got David Hamilton Jr., first time winner, and and Derek Bishak has been running really well, and C.J. Leary obviously. I mean the list goes on. So that's what I think makes Silver Crown racing so so special. Um, is that uh, if you if you happen to win one, you had to beat a lot of contenders to do it. And uh, this place has been tricky, and, and there's been times where I felt like that was a good thing for me because I had it figured out. And there's been times that uh, I leave here scratching my head, you know. So um, the Silver Crown cars have been have been by far the most kind to me. But like I said, it's been uh, it's been almost, been more than two years on the calendar since I won a points race here. So uh, hopefully we can change that this weekend. And as we've seen with the Silver Crown series as a whole. Literally every race and every point means something. And we've seen in the past where, you know, one deal at Gateway, that's mm. all it took. And one spot out of the top five, you've had basically that one tough night. And, and Logan had his too, and you're basically even. But there's, like, you can't really have any problems all year. 
yeah. maybe get one. And yeah. That's it. You may, but no more than you, that. You maybe get one mulligan, and you know, like I said, Logan had one, and and unfortunately we've had two. You know, and I feel like that's been the difference so far. But, um, but hey, that's okay. That's part of silver crown racing. And maybe in years past, um, maybe I had one less. You know, than 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 what he had. And um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of of our season in in some ways. Right. I mean, on the dirt, we we rolled out the old uh, De Palma 63, and and after sitting for five years and me being involved in a on a dirt capacity that I hadn't been yet. Um, we finished in the top five every dirt race, you know, which I felt like was going to be huge to, to keep up with Logan and those guys. I mean, they won three times and they've been they've been the the top um, of the dirt side for for a couple of years now. Went as far as race wins and and running really well, and they've ran strong in all the you know the races that they didn't win. And um, they've been good on the pavement, and I felt like we you know, we've got our three wins on the pavement. And and that's like you said, this part of Silver Crown racing is is the season is so short that that you can't afford anything that that um, that doesn't go your way. And and some years that's how how it goes. So I've been really fortunate to have had a number of years where, where things did work out, um, and this year we, we still have a chance. So I'm, I'm not complaining in any uh, in any way. Just uh, thankful to to have a chance and to uh, to go out and try to win a race here this weekend.